so this is another restaurant review, which I know Trey is like extremely equipped for because he loves fine dining. So <laughs> this this is for the French Laundry um, in Napa. Do, have you heard of this restaurant? OK, yeah. so this is like a very obviously famous, expensive, nice restaurant that is very popular, etc. So this review is written. Oh, Jesus. I hate when there's a name I can't say I might need to spell it. And I'm going to have to give the same thing because it's one, the whole thing because it's one of those long ones. So it's J E N E S A I S Q U O I capital V. Oh, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi V. Wow, I really don't read French, you guys. Uh-oh. So, like, but that's funny because doesn't je ne sais quoi mean like I don't know or something like that? I thought oh, no, je ne sais quoi was like you have a certain. Oh, je, je ne sais quoi. quoi. Yeah, je ne sais quoi. I don't know. I, don't I don't took know, Spanish. Guys. I don't know things. And, um, what kind of dot is this? You okay, yes, yeah, sorry. So this is uh, Je ne sais quoi V's one dot review of the French Laundry. The subject is how can you have such amazing food and horrible service? Oh, okay. God. Get ready. Okay. Here we go. Yes, this restaurant is unbelievable. Delicious, incredible dishes. Not so much gastronomic style as just amazing food. But how can you have such amazing food and such horrible service? Mm. Let me recount. First, we were a table of seven women. It was a girls' weekend in Napa. The sommelier and the first server that came to our table were nice. Then, this older bald man came over he told us that if we wanted to go across the street to the french laundry garden we could take some gorgeous pics we went over which you should check out halfway during your meal it's pretty cool to see and took some great pics we came back to our table and asked the same man to come take some pics of us outside he came out and said guess who's downstairs outside about to come in girls and my friend said who and he said look there's will ferrell okay (laughs) my friends started gushing and were very excited they are big fans but why is this server drawing attention to his clientele that's not professional in a three-star michelin not to mention any restaurant Then he says to my friends, would you like me to go ask him if he will take a pic with you ladies real quick? My friends start getting excited, saying, yes, yes, yes. Then he says, ha, too bad. I won't. And walks away. Who does that? (laughs) Are you kidding? (laughs) Later in the meal, he comes over to our table and says to my friends sitting next to me, I would like to ask you a favor to please hold off on going outside to take any more pics till the next course comes out. I would ask your blonde friend pointing at me, but I can tell she's the mean one of the group again. (gasps) What? Then the third wonderful remark from Mr. Sunshine came at the dessert course. One of our friends, One of our friends is a vegetarian, and they brought her out a creme brulee. I jokingly said, wow, she got the special dessert. And I did not even say it to him. I didn't even know he was listening. To which he replies, she's special and you're not, so deal with it. (gasps) How can you treat people who pay $800 plus per person like this? No response from manager either. What a disgrace. I even called Amex FHR, who I booked this restaurant through, to have manager contact me. And nothing. Oh, my God. Why didn't they call the restaurant 
directly. No, they did. I think they tried to get the they tried they said they tried to get the manager and then they couldn't. So then they oh, so, then so then they, they called, called Amex. Um and then still oh, couldn't. Oh, I see, I see. Whoa. I mean, je ne sais quoi. That that really took a turn. Didn't there. it? Didn't it? Like at first I was like Ugh. Why is every fancy restaurant review about how good the chef right. is and how bad the service which is? Which is like, kind of a you a thing. Theme. Which is kind of a you thing. A little bit. What do you mean? Because there are people, especially people that want to go to French Laundry, that are going to be into like the food being amazing and the chef being great. And that's why they're here. And that's what they want to read. So just because you're not the kind of person that loves that, I just always like to point out that... Oh. Right, it's my bias. It's right, your right. bias. Right. I was like, what do you mean? I don't like going to fans. Okay. No, of course. Um, but I, first of all, I was taken by the fact that uh, Je ne sais quoi yes. painted a very strong visual of who this waiter was by calling them bald. Like, I instantly got a little, like... Protective? Huh. Like, I... Well, I well, I mean, I I have been balding, but I sort of instantly got an, <laughs> a picture it. of like this might be a villainous character to return. Yes. Um, but then I sort of by the end when he said you're not special, she is. Deal with it. I started to think about like when you're in kindergarten and like the boy hits the girl that he likes. I'm like, is this person flirting? Yes, it was very odd behavior. I don't know. I don't really understand what the whole like beef was between him and her and also like i found the whole will ferrell thing so icky weird. and weird like i completely was in agreement with jenna sequa when they were like why are you doing that this is a nice restaurant this isn't like mm. we're at some like mcdonald's arby's. or arby's and in walks will ferrell and everybody is like oh my god will ferrell, will ferrell. like this is a nice restaurant where i imagine there's a celebrity there every single night like, that's just the kind of place that right. it is. So for them to do that, I thought that was bizarre. And then to do it only to tee up. Ha, too ha. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come <sighs> on. Like, okay, wait. Let's just sort of pull back okay. for a second. Do you think there's any world where there was a sarcastic humor whether appropriate or inappropriate for the profession, sure. that was lost? Or do you think this bald person is truly a horrifying bully? No, I think that it was a, sarca a sarcastic humor. I'm that, thinking like, that as well, too. That was not working. You know what I mean? Like, and completely displaced. Com I don't yeah. think that a waiter at a fine dining restaurant should be sarcastic. Right, exactly. Like, I, don't, I think that like, <laughs> they probably thought that it's a table of women, you know, that like... They're going right. to flirt with them. They're going to whatever. And they're going to like be this hilarious bully representative with this weird humor. And it just was so ineffective. Well, it's also like we're not at Dick's last resort where they are mean to you on right. purpose. This is exactly. like, OK, here's yes. a question because it's not yes. my world. So they said this is a three star Michelin. How is that? That doesn't sound good to me. Is no. that? How high is the rating for Michelin? I think it's, I think it may be, like, let me look back into the Michelin comment. Three star Michelin. I don't know. Like, does it go to five? It, I think it just means that it's like a, th like, cause you get a Michelin star. Yeah, that's what it means. You get a Michelin star for your restaurant. And that means like your restaurant's amazing. Like, oh my God, your restaurant got a Michelin star. So getting three oh. Michelin stars would mean that like three, really yeah, would mean that deal. three on three different years on three different occasions, this restaurant has received oh. the Michelin star of the year. So like that is like that is a really Dang. big deal. So like yes, and everybody knows. That's what I was saying. Like everybody knows that French Laundry is where it's at. Like that's just yeah, very fancy. Yeah, like, if you want to be really fancy, you're going to go to French Laundry. Like, that's just, like, the creme de la creme. So there's so many things that are wrong. It's just, it kind of upsets me on behalf of Jenna Sequa that, like, there was, was wrong things done here. Were these girls, yeah. I, I don't know, you know what, I'm going back and forth because 
when we started being like, we went to the garden and we took photos and then we asked them to come out and take more photos. And then they told us not to take any more photos until after this course. I started to feel like, are these girls that are just like drinking and crazy and and like are yeah. getting whatever and constantly getting up to take photos in the middle of the thing? Like, I thought that was weird. Maybe that is recommended, but I thought it was a little bit weird that you would get up in the middle of the meal to go to the garden. Like, I assumed. I wrote that down. Yeah, like, I assumed, OK, when we're done the meal, then we'll go to the garden or we'll get there a little bit early before our reservation and go to the garden. Like I did think it was strange that they were kept inter- interrupting the meal. And then they got that note about that. Like, I, I don't know. There was something about that that felt a little fishy. Well, it did occur to me as well. Like they were invited to attend the garden across right. the street. So that did make me think, you know, go and view it, take your pictures, and then there's no reason to ever return because you've completed the sure. task. So to be going back and forth, I think is probably uncommon. Right. And so then for them to request that you don't is sort of like, okay, we'll read the room perhaps, right. like, you know. But, you know, I am going to just go into this because I I do understand, like, if, if you were going to the French yeah. Laundry, it should be an outrageously decadent, extraordinary experience. And to be labeled the mean one would make me so angry. Um, So I really am with Jen, I think on a whole, I do. Well, that's what I was saying. I started to believe yeah, Jen, same. I think. Like I started to say like, I'm was mad that the manager didn't get back to them because I think a lot of times these kind of restaurants really can start to rest on their laurels. Like everybody's going to go to French mm. laundry. Nobody's not going to go there because Jen had this bad experience. So I don't really mm. need to give you attention was like what I was feeling from this. And I don't like that at all. But then No, I think that's inappropriate. I think, like, you're a service-based hospitality industry. Like, you have to at least pick up the phone and apologize. Right, exactly. Whereas, like, the only thing I could possibly think of, like, being lost in the narrative is maybe that these girls were a little bit annoying. But even if they were... I'm thinking that, too. Even if they were, it's just, like, the Will Ferrell moment, the mean moment, the, like, ugh, the you're jealous. I do have a question... Yeah, I do have a question about context here because I am curious if some of this is taken out of context right. because the quotes that are attributed to the bald right. person are so sarcastic that I'm wondering if they're being painted to be see be perceived as harsher. Like I just I am ima- like I can't imagine someone saying like she's special and you're not deal with it. Like in a real honest <laughs> statement. Like that is so absurd such an absurd thing to say the you, the mean one of the group is pushing well, that's crossing right. the line but what is the spelling and grammar like really good really solid again like we did use caps i tried to read accordingly when we did but not to an excessive amount i don't know i think it's funny like i really got a sense of who this character was and i can mm-hmm. i can see even if i read it like in a like fake French accent or something like guess was downstairs about to come in girl you know mm-hmm. like I can see this like over the top character who is yep. just crossing the line you know like thinking that he's flirting yes. with these girls or whatever he thinks he's doing and it's just coming across really gross Good point. Um, I also thought it was interesting that it, there doesn't seem to be consensus amongst the friend group. And it makes me wonder if other people were having mm. such a bad experience with Mr. Sunshine or if it was just Jen, because it seemed like Mr. Sunshine was not a fan of Jen and came at her because the other girls like, Jen. you know, when he said the thing about taking the photo, they were all like, yes, 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 yes. you know, like they were all mm-hmm. so excited about it. And like, I don't know, they were, like, getting the special attention with the special dessert. I do kind of wonder, like, I wish they would have said, and just kind of glancing through it really fast, I wish they would have said, like, we were all so offended or, you know, me and my friends were aghast or something like that. Good point picking that up because it does seem like not everyone in this seven group of women was in agreement with Jen's 
experience. Because, like, obviously yeah. the food was good. Obviously the sommelier who's doing the wine. So, obviously the wine was good. Obviously the atmosphere was good. The gardens were beautiful. Like, there's so much positive happening here. And it does seem a little bit like Jen is maybe attracting this negative energy to her that perhaps mm-hmm. the other girls weren't picking up as much and again that's completely obviously me reading between the lines but it was something that i thought about so is this a deal breaker would this keep you from going to the definitely not and i think the french laundry knows that (laughs) i think that's why they probably Mm -hmm. don't care I think I can crown Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi can crown Je ne sais quoi. What does Je ne sais quoi mean? I thought it means. Oh, it has a certain Je ne sais quoi. Yes, let's do it. Sorry, I'm Googling Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. A certain Je ne sais quoi. A certain quality? Like a certain. You're right. It says, I don't know what. It oh. literally means, I don't, I don't know, what. know what in French. Okay, good. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're ready. Sorry. Wow, are you serious? Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah, that's so okay, so I'm holding up three and a half crowns, and Trey is holding up one crown, which never happens. All right, Trey, let us know <laughs> why you gave Je ne sais quoi one star, one crown. I don't. I don't think this is because I've been having a bad day. I think all that is valuable for me in this review is that the management didn't seem to want to rectify je ne sais quoi's experience. And the one star is really because I got a really big laugh out of imagining this altruistic, offensive, sarcastic bully of a bald man being so mean to Jen. Uh, But it's not going to impact. I don't, you know. It's like a private garden. I'm sure each table is invited to go at one point throughout the meal. And like, you know, it's like I recognize you want to have a really lovely experience. And it sounds like they right. did. And I think this person was sort of a jerk in the retelling. But I could also see how Jen was just offended. So I said one star. If I want to go to the French Laundry, <laughs> this is going to have zero impact yeah. on me. Why did you say three and a half? I said three and a half because I think that Je ne sais quoi should have changed this to a two or three dot review. And then I feel like it would have been mm. a lot more accurate. I liked accurate. the way that they really described the entire situation. I just like the storytelling here. Um, and I thought there was yep. a lot of personality. And you know that I love a good personality, a good chuckle, um, a good specificity moment like the Will Ferrell. There was so much in this that was very specific and unique, which I love in a review. But yeah, I took away the one and a half for everything that you just said. I don't think at the end of the day this would impact me going. So I, that's what I took points off for. But everything else was kind of hitting for me. So that was why I went with three and a half crowns. Love it. Yeah. Really fun. Thanks. That's really fun. Let's go to the French laundry. Oh my God, please. Uh, get accosted. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like as long as I am prepared, I can like come up with a good quippy reply. I think like. Will you just say that again? I think as long as I'm prepared, I can come up with a good quippy reply. Like I could go head to head with the bald man yeah. and I would be okay. I think. Yeah. I think so too. That would maybe be <laughs> Yeah, fun. exactly. But we could save a lot of money and just That's go to jail. That's true. And just maybe sneak into the gardens. Woo. 